Hi, this is Jordan Moorhead with the Moorhead team, and today we're going to talk about real estate investing in Austin. I feel uniquely qualified to talk about real estate investing in Austin because I'm a real estate investor in Austin, our team helps a ton of real estate investors in Austin, and I'm also the host of the Austin Real Estate Investing Podcast, in which I get to talk to tons of awesome real estate investors in Austin and learn all about what they're doing to be successful in Austin in the current market. So, real estate investing in Austin starts with financing. You need to finance buying real estate investments. Of course, you can buy it in cash. If you've got the cash, that can work well. I don't like to buy things in cash because I wanna have my money work harder for me than that, but if you've got the cash, it's a great way to start. So you buy it in cash, you can do that. The next thing, you can go to a bank. You're either going to a, a lender, a mortgage broker, or you're going to a local bank. So many different options there, I'm not gonna get into it today, but understand that talking to a mortgage broker and talking to a local bank are gonna get you different results. The loans are gonna cost more, the terms are gonna be different, the interest rates are gonna be different. Everything is different. Everything is always different. If you're buying a house to live in, or you're gonna house hack, those loans are all really similar. So don't get too caught up in the details. If you're buying a house to live in or you're buying it to house hack or you're just buying a long-term rental, you don't need to get too caught up in the details. Go to a mortgage broker, get an awesome loan that lasts for 30 years and has an amazingly low interest rate right now. Don't worry about it. If you're looking to do something more creative, you can go talk to a local bank. You talk to a bank like Broadway Bank or Austin Telco and they're gonna set you up with a more creative loan. These loans probably won't have as long of terms. They're probably gonna cost a little more to get done. The interest rates are probably gonna be a little higher. That's okay when you need to be really creative because it can work well for you. On the far end of the financing continuum, it's using private money or hard money. So you're going to a hard money lender who's lending you money to buy this home. Typically, they're gonna ask for a down payment too. They want a down payment. They wanna see you have some skin in the game. They don't care how bad the property is. This is for those nasty properties that are half burnt down, they're completely trashed, or it's just if you need to move quickly. Lots of hard money lenders can close in a couple weeks, maybe two weeks, and you're done. You're ready to start on the construction. No problems. Quick, easy, fast, but it's gonna cost you a little more. So tons of great hard money lenders here. Reach out to me here at the Moorhead team we will set you up with hard money lenders here in Austin. Now we're gonna talk about what works well to invest in in Austin. So obviously in Austin, our median home price being around 500,000, gets hard to buy investment properties that make cash flow, which is what a lot of people wanna do. But there's lots of awesome strategies to do that. There's also lots of other ways to invest. So a lot of people, when they think about real estate investing, think of Chip and Joanna Gaines right up the road here in Waco flipping houses, making them look pretty, and reselling them. That's an amazing way to make money with real estate in Austin. You buy a house, you flip it, you make a lot of money doing it. That's awesome. You can also build homes. This is something a lot of people are doing. It takes a little more skill, it takes a little more know-how, takes having the right contractor, it can take a little more time. But if you find a house that's just disgusting, you scrape it, you put a brand new house there, you can make a lot of money doing that. Again. You need to be careful doing this. Make sure you understand what you're doing. This is not for the faint of heart. This is not an easy thing to do. So make sure you understand what you're doing when you're building a property in the city of Austin. You gotta deal with the city of Austin. You need to make sure you know it. The next thing people are doing to make a lot of money. So flipping, building, doing some sort of short-term rental or monthly rental can work really well in Austin right now. So short-term rental being more of like an Airbnb or a VRBO Again, this can be hard in Austin because we have laws around this that get in the way of doing short-term rentals. So if you wanna do it legally, look up short-term rentals in Austin. You'll find the laws and the rules with the cities really easily. Figure out how you can make that work or if you can make that work, go at it. Next one, monthly rentals can work really well. Tons of people are always moving to Austin. They need places to stay temporarily. Tons of people are also just coming to visit for a month. 
that's totally fine too. We have tons of people that come visit for a month, two months at a time. Maybe you want to stay in Austin for the winter because it's really cold wherever you're from. We're filming this in November. It's about 80 degrees right now. Amazing winters. So monthly rentals can work really well. Long-term rentals can still also work very well in Austin. If you find the right rental and you find something that makes sense, you can also still buy a house or a multifamily property and make that into a long-term rental that's cash flow positive and does really well for you. So those are the types of rentals that are working really well right now in Austin. Outside of that, you have to go find this. There's a couple ways to go find rental property in Austin. Of course, you can use a realtor to do it. You can go do it yourself. You can knock on doors. You can meet people that want to sell their homes. You can use wholesalers who are going to go find homes for you. They're going to charge a fee on top of what they found the home for. They're going to sell it to you. All different kinds of stuff. You're looking at Craigslist. You're looking at Facebook. You can look at Zillow if you want to. You can look anywhere to find homes. There's not a wrong way to do it. If you have a realtor do it, they do all the work for you. They handle all the documents. They make it nice and easy. If you're going to do any of that other stuff, I would be a little more experienced so you don't get hurt or lose money. So there's not a wrong way to do it. If you're looking to invest in real estate in Austin, those are just some of the ways that you can do it, some of the ways that you can finance it. It's absolutely not an all-encompassing list, but it's something that we do all the time here in Austin, and we here at the Moorhead team would love to help.